And over the wicket she comes to Haynes. Chance of a catch and misses and trickles out. It's going to be four. Cleary to Haynes. Oh, there you go. First wicket of the match. It's a big one. They've got Rachel Haynes. Healy just whips it off her pads. And it'll race out towards the road. Cross now to Healy, who advances straight back down the wicket. And that's going to reach the boundary as well. And this one's full and she's driven it. It's been taken. No. That second gully they put in it, unable to hold on to that. This one's short and pulled around. It's going to beat it over. Under a foot, under a head. There's a big appeal here from Bolton and that's out. Alex Blackwell has been a... Which was nice. The Graham comes in. This is a full delivery that Healy has hit through the mid-wicket and uh, Emma King came in again. And this one she's played late and these two are forced to single. Run pretty comfortably. Just seen another change in momentum now. <laughs> that brings up Healy's 50. Like her action is, as you see, she runs in very slowly. And Perry's played that powerfully. She's cut that behind point. And Healy on strike. When she's hit this through to... Oh, nearly a fantastic catch at cover there. It's nearly Peschel in again. And uh, that one's just been delicately dabbed through to third. But holding a shape through her shots. She comes down the wicket this time. And Skywood. That's going to be four. Keeping it official. Healy very happy. Look at that fist pump. She's hit four. She's made the century, Jenny. So an exceptional innings from Healy. Mature. <laughs> Cut hard and late by Perry. Actually, it was between the two coaches of these teams. <laughs> Joanne Broadbent right. and Lisa Cartley. Uh, Lisa Cartley being the one responsible for, let's say, damaging. Joanne Broadbent's cooking. This one's full again, and this time driven aerial out. There's a fielder out there, and Kate Cross takes a great catch. That's the end of a fantastic innings by Healy, who's just trotted off and made some trim. It's a powerful drive. That's going to beat Peschel at mid-off, who was... As you see her try and hit powerfully through cover. Megan Banting dives to save it, but unable to get that through. So that's another 4-2, the new... Harper Cleary in once again, and... This time Perry gives herself room to the onside and opens up that offside. That's a beautiful shot from Perry. Pressure on the fielding team. This time she uses her feet. Great swing of the bat. That is going long and high. That is six runs towards the train track end. Cross coming in and this one is a chance to Megan Banting. Taking it mid off. Hit high on the bat there in Stalinberg, but she's doing the right thing. This time she's in and this is driven. There's a chance for a catch and it's a great catch. Unbelievable wicket. Emma King diving forward. This time she does go through just short of a length and it's cut nicely. It beats point and I think it's going to beat Tennille Peschel. It does do. So that's four runs to start the last score for New South Wales. This one she moves the feet to. Picks it up and hits it straight down the throat of oh, deep fine leg. Can you believe it? She's picked out the fielder. She hasn't had to move a metre. And that ends the New South Wales breakers innings. Six for 302. They will finish up on. A fantastic score for Joel Gosco. That's a big score uh, in a final. So the classic low bounce of Black Town as Bolton pierces the field. Beautiful cover drive. Then comes into Bolton and Bolton's on eight. And this one's short and Bolton plays on the back foot. Pull shot and that's a, a beautiful shot and that'll be a boundary four for her. With things, it's just... Oh, and Farrell has got the yes. wicket of Bolton here. She's uh, gone to play a pull shot and she's... Blaney on strike and almost drew a false shot there. She's pulled that towards mid-wicket. It wasn't very short, but... Bailey to Papara. And Papara has hit this high into mid-wicket region and she'll score. Bailey in again and Villani on the front foot cutting beautifully. And, uh, well, front foot drive into the wicket to take advantage of, or...? Yeah, I think Papara goes skyward and Lauren Smith <laughs> is so happy. She this one's yes. pulling it straight through up. Straight through. A great comeback from Kerry there. She was short and wide. The ball. 
Jones in again, and she's cutting. It's almost carried to first slip, probably one and a half. You don't want. It's driven nicely out to the cover sweeper, and that takes Captain Elise Villani. Up to once again, again looking to be full. This time she's driven it. as well so <laughs> this one she's lent into that cover drive again and once again she's she's run needlessly because that has raced away oh, yeah beautiful shot you see smith push this one through faster and she gets back on back foot and cuts it it's going to go away to the boundary again Stalenberg's chasing but pulls up oh. in again to Vellani. and this one's a full toss and she's got under it and it might be just short perry's under and this time she holds the catch and Elise Bellini goes for 74, and that's a crucial wicket for the New South Wales Breakers. Mindset shift to, to train like professionals, um, as well as be pay, paid like professionals, and that we're seeing that. Jones gets a full toss, and I think she might have got this one away. It's a big chase for Stalenberg out there. It's Rachel Haynes, sorry, and it's got through and through to mid on for four. And that will actually bring up her 50, a fantastic 50 for Amy Jones, coming off 55 deliveries. Um, really Banton, sorry just Andrew facing her first delivery full toss and she's hit that over mid off and uh, in, the, in the transition to senior players and looks like Amy Jones has found the gap but uh, mid on and, uh, and, and the two uh, two ends Nic Nicola and oh, wonderful catch out there uh, Andrew, I might even let you Hands call this head. if you'd like <laughs> well this time this is going to be out. Alex Blackwell won't drop that. A leading edge, skied in the air, and fantastic diving efforts to these days. As Gibson again, and Cleary's got a lot of that. She's hit that well and truly over <laughs> mid off. Sarah Ailey puts behind the oh, ball. Oh, fantastic! Ball. Cleary's just hit that straight back to pot, to as out over time as Kerry comes in to Banting. Has got a bit of this one, and she's hit this over mid on. One bounce, and in comes Sarah Ailey. And it's going to be a tie for the second here. No, that's going to be run out. Bit of confusion. and She's skipping in, and this is a much fuller delivery. And it looks like that'll be the last wicket. And that's the win to the New South Wales Breakers, their 19th Women's National Cricket League title. And as uh, Brittany Carter was just telling us, they've been in all 22 finals. And Sarah Ailey picking up the final wicket of Emma King. Now, Miss Stalenberg taking the catch at point. And uh, what a fabulous effort by New South Wales. Unfortunately for the Western Fury, they uh, weren't able to get too close to that title, all out for 251.